everyone. My name is Hannah Penn. I'm an environmental education coordinator with the Fulton County Department of Public Works. And today we're gonna to be talking about butterfly life cycles. You're gonna watch a short video that talks about how butterfly life cycles work. And then you're gonna come back here with me and we're going to make a butterfly life cycle craft together. Now the downloadable pieces of work that you need to complete this craft are available on the Fulton County Library website. So make sure before you are ready to start your craft that you have everything that you need. See you soon. All of the insect pollinators go through some form of metamorphosis in their life cycle. The adults find a plant that's the host plant, which we'll talk about more in a minute. They lay the eggs on the plant, and then the caterpillars or the larvae hatch out of those eggs and they feed on that plant as they're growing and growing and getting ready to go into metamorphosis stage. Now, whenever they're ready to go into a chrysalis or a cocoon, depending on whether they're a butterfly or a wasp or bee, this is the stage that we call a pupa. So during this time, a big change is happening. That's that metamorphosis. They're going from the larva or the caterpillar, the young version of this insect, to the adult. And after a couple of weeks, the adults emerge from their pupa and they have to find food and a mate to be ready to lay eggs again and complete the life cycle. Host plants are also very important to the life cycle of a pollinator. The adults will find and lay eggs only on one type of plant that they are familiar with and that they know their caterpillars can eat and will have good food. Without this host plant, they have nowhere to lay their eggs and their life cycle can't be complete. Okay, so now we're going to go through the steps of completing the butterfly life cycle craft worksheet that's available. And the things that you're gonna need to print out before we're ready to start <clears throat> that are available on the website will be the worksheet that looks like this. So butterfly life cycle. This is a two-sided page, but your printer might only print one-sided and that's okay. So this is the butterfly that you're gonna be looking for. And then on the back of that page, there's some information specifically about monarch butterflies and the things that they need to help complete their life cycle and their migration journey to Mexico every year. So, but we're gonna be using the butterfly life cycle worksheet page that I showed you. And the other page that you're looking for has three rows of pictures on it. Now I've already cut mine apart, but there's the monarch butterfly life cycle stages that you'll see. So you'll see egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and butterfly. Then there's the Eastern tiger swallowtail butterfly. Now we included this one because the tiger swallowtail butterfly is Georgia's state butterfly. So that's a really cool one to know what the different stages of the life cycle look like. And then finally, we included one that's a little bit funny, but also fun to do. These are pasta shapes. Now, if you actually have this pasta, you could use the actual different types of pasta to glue into your worksheet too. And we used to do the craft that way, but now we're using these pictures because these different shapes of pasta resemble the different stages of a butterfly life cycle. So just for fun, we have this option too. So you can choose one of these three to complete your worksheet with me. So the pasta shapes that you have are the orzo pasta, which looks like the egg. You have the spiral pasta that looks like the caterpillar because it has the lines, especially the monarch caterpillar or any of the caterpillars that have stripes on them. Then you've got the shell pasta and that represents the chrysalis or the rounded shape, which is where the butterfly actually forms and then emerges from. And then you have bow tie pasta. Bow tie pasta really closely resembles what a butterfly looks like. So just for fun, if you wanted to do the pasta shapes, you can. Um, and keep an eye out for all those different pasta shapes the next time you're at the grocery store. 
Okay, so I'm going to use the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly pictures. Now, like I said, you can use any set. If you wanna do the Monarch Butterfly, you can cut those out. And if you want to do all three, you can print this worksheet out three different times and make three different butterfly life cycle worksheets if you like. So we're gonna start with these. Now, the first thing that I've got to do is I'm gonna follow along with the different stages and I'm gonna match those up with my worksheet. So I'm gonna start with this first one that's the egg and I'm gonna cut that out. Now I'm just gonna cut out the circle that's on this card. I'm not gonna leave the word egg because once I look at my worksheet, I'll see that that word is already labeled and I'm just matching the picture to the stage of the life cycle on my butterfly. So I'm gonna start by cutting out the egg picture. And these circles are a size that should fit just right inside of the circles on your butterfly life cycle worksheet. Okay, so I've cut out the egg picture. Now the next thing that I need is a glue stick, right? So that was in our materials list. I'm gonna make sure that we have a glue stick or some glue, if you have liquid glue, that's fine. Or if you wanna use some tape, that works too. But you need a way to be able to stick your picture to the circle that works. Now we know that this is the egg, but where does it go on our worksheet? So you can look at the word and you can see the letters E-G-G. -G. And then you can look at your butterfly and you can look for those same letters on one of the wings, we're gonna find that word. And if you look at it, you'll see it's right here on this wing. It says E-G-G, -G, right above the circle. Now, we can see that these arrows go around and there's really not a place that says start or finish. And the reason for that is because with this being a life cycle, the cycle never really stops. It continues to go on and on and on. So. Even though this is our first picture and this is what we're starting with, there's really not a definite start or end to this. So I'm gonna take this picture and I'm gonna glue it into the circle that says EGG or egg. Okay, just like that. Okay, next I'm gonna use the picture that says caterpillar underneath it and that's C-A-T-E-R P-I-L-L-A-R. That's the second picture on my sheet. It's right next to where the egg was. Now remember kiddos, if you need help cutting these out, don't forget to ask a grown up for help with that. It's okay to have them help you go ahead and cut the circles out before you get started and just keep track of which one goes with which stage, unless you just already know. Or maybe you have some really good safety scissors at home and you could use those instead. All right, so here's my caterpillar. These guys are a little bit funny looking, right? They actually have a fake eye on their body. All right, so I've got my caterpillar. I'm gonna glue them down in the section of the wing part that says caterpillar, which is right across. So you see the arrow? So that is the next stage of our life cycle. After the egg, the caterpillar hatches out, okay? Next, our next stage is the chrysalis. So after the caterpillar has hatched out of the egg and has eaten for several weeks, it's gonna be ready to change or go through metamorphosis, which is a big fancy word that means to change its shape or its form. So we're gonna go through metamorphosis as a chrysalis, and we're gonna glue that into the section of the butterfly wing that is next to, I'm gonna follow the arrow from caterpillar down to chrysalis, and we're gonna glue that picture right down here. See, so we follow the arrow after caterpillar and we land on chrysalis, and that's where we glue that picture. One more to go. Okay, 
So now we're going to cut out and place the butterfly. This is the adult version of this animal. So we have we have juvenile, which is the caterpillar. That's juvenile is a funny word for, for caterpillar when you're talking about butterflies or you're talking about insects that have a caterpillar that goes through metamorphosis. And then the adult, these guys looks really different, right? So we've got our tiger swallowtail He's sitting on a pretty pink flower that's called echinacea. It's a really good nectar source, and it's a native plant to Georgia. So this is a plant that these butterflies know to look for, and they're going to find if you plant it in your garden, and it helps them get lots of sweet nectar juice that helps fuel their travels wherever they have to go and fly to, to find food, to find plants to lay their eggs on. So that's what that pretty pink flower is in that picture, which is a great one to add to your garden. So now look, I followed the arrow from chrysalis over to the word butterfly. And I put my tiger swallowtail butterfly picture there. And now, if you see, we have all four stages of the butterfly life cycle complete on our worksheet. We have completed this. Now, I think that it would be really great if after you've gotten all of your pictures glued in place, if you colored the butterfly that's on here because he's black and white. If you want to leave it like this, that's perfectly fine. But if you colored it, this worksheet would look really great. But the thing that I want you to do before you color it, though, is down at the bottom, you see the word name. So you're going to write your name next to that so that anyone who takes a look at this sheet knows whose beautiful work this is. So I wrote my name at the bottom, Hannah. So now I can hang this up and everyone at my home will know that this is my butterfly life cycle craft that I made today, completed this worksheet. I hope you enjoyed making this craft with me today. And if you have any questions or want to look at some more information about butterfly life cycles, you can always ask a grown up to go online and find out more information about the different kinds of butterflies that we have here in Georgia. National Pollinator Week just happened this past week and there's lots of information on pollinator.org where you can learn about not only the different types of pollinators, but you can learn about all of the ways that you, even as a little kid or a grown up, can help pollinators in your yard with plants or to help keep track of them, which is called citizen science. So you wanna keep an eye out for butterflies in your yard or in your neighborhood or at local parks and see which ones are around and what times of year they're there. So there's lots of fun activities that you can do that help keep track of our pollinators, but they also help you learn some more and find out ways that your yard can be a benefit to them. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.